All right, guys. Welcome to the One Percent Podcast, the solo edition with me. <laughs> um, no, honestly, this. I don't know how long I'm going to talk for. As always, these are going to be unedited, uncropped, un whatever, um, because I look pale as hell <laughs> with the ring light on. Obviously, yeah, insane, guys. Right. So this video is a 2022 recap. 2022. I think sat here tonight, New Year's night. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm having a quiet night. I'm just routine you know me i'm doing the same shit different day um but two years today um at 8 p.m uk time i got on a flight and i flew to dubai and i moved to dubai it's been two years guys i landed here january 1st two years ago whatever year that was 20 2020 um so i flew flew New Year's night and I landed here New Year's Day two years ago so that is mind-blowing absolutely mind-blowing and as you can probably tell this is gonna be an emotional podcast um, so 2022 where do we begin um, obviously we just kind of had Christmas and New Year and personally Christmas and New Year of 2022 so the, not the one we just had but the previous one uh, was amazing um, that's when my life really changed it really changed that Christmas there was a little group of us there was the Aussie crew there was myself and a couple of other guys um, and James and Keanu who have been on the podcast they kind of hosted Christmas and they cooked us a nice breakfast and all this sort of stuff we had a lunch booked um, obviously being in Dubai we don't have family here so we built our own family and it was amazing um, and this was with Sam Amy uh, this was with Steph, everything like that, and I think the Lewis was there, and I think that was it. It was a nice little group of us, and obviously that was the first real day that I met Steph, m met my ex, and she truly changed everything for me. Um, so that was the first day. So this kind of Christmas has been a, it was a bit weird. It was a bit of a, oh like deja vu sort of thing i felt a little bit lonely this christmas i miss my mum a lot um because yeah because steph made such a big impact on my life um and i feel now it's nice i can feel like i can talk about it and things like that because she's absolutely she's cool i absolutely i adore her right um so anyway and then obviously Especially tonight, New Year's. New Year's was the first night we spent together as well. So if it, tonight feels a little bit weird um, recording this even. So anyway, anyway. Then obviously the whole kind of, it all kicked off, right? So I was in an off season um, planning to compete this year, which obviously you saw and things like that. Hopefully, if you didn't go back, look at my competitive season of 2022. Um, but yeah, obviously Steph was on prep and everything like that. We... I learned how I learned how special someone can be, and we had an incredible time together. She was prepping for shows in the U.S., and obviously her being in a strict strict prep routine, obviously kept me in a very strict off season routine. So I made incredible progress over that time in all areas of my life. Like I learned to let someone in, I learned to love for the first time. This was the first woman person I've ever fallen in love with. So. It was it was crazy, absolutely amazing, and head over heels for someone. Um, so we had an incredible time together. We explored Dubai and we did we did things and everything like that. Obviously, we went to the U.S. and um, that's when kind of the year started to spiral a little bit. Um, when I was out there for her shows and things like that. And if someone said to me now, like recap 2022 the highs, the lows. I personally think 2022 has been the hardest year of my life so far. Um, and if I had to put it in percentages, I would say 60 to 70% of it fucking sucked. Um, but 30 to 40% of it was incredible. Memories, friends, um, progression in all areas of my life with my current clients, with myself, with relationships, with my physique, everything like that. 2022 has been a year of 
learning. Learning how to be a better me. Learning to be confident in myself to say no and to say yes when to say yes to take opportunities when they're there and to listen to my gut and heart when I don't want to do anything when I truly actually think that's not me so I'm going to say no I don't want to do that and letting people either accept that help trying to make them not make them but trying to let them understand why I don't want to do something or anything along those lines so yeah it's been um it's been a crazy ride guys a crazy ride but it's been a huge year of just learning and a lot of it is acceptance as well so like obviously I got in the best shape of my life this year and I couldn't be more proud of everything like with the physique that I brought to the Dubai show and obviously uh, Alicante show as well and that prep honestly wrapped up this year incredibly well for me. I finished the show, I think we're like eight weeks out, uh, eight weeks post show this weekend, uh, eight or nine weeks out, so uh, post show. And honestly, guys, that prep changed everything for me. I didn't leave a stone unturned, and I said that every day. I didn't miss a gram of food, I didn't miss a step, I didn't miss a beat. I trained hard, I know I trained, I know I. I couldn't have done anything more than I did. And I am so proud of that. I brought a physique that I don't think many people thought I could bring. I was truly proud of the condition, the way that I conducted myself throughout that whole prep as an athlete, as a coach, as a friend, as a son, everything like that. I was a completely different person. Or I unlocked fucking me and I think that's what it was more than anything so yeah it's just it's just been a year guys of just <laughs> a lot of fucking it got beaten down all the time it felt like and I got back up and I got beaten down again I got beaten back up and I got fucking <laughs> I got back up and I got beaten down six more times um, and obviously a lot of this stuff is you're never going to know the whole, everything ins and outs because I don't need to express every second of my personal life but it has from an emotional aspect from falling in love having the biggest heartbreak in the world from a roller coaster there and yeah I, I just it's just been a year of learning and I am so happy with what the outcome is going into 2023 I truly am and I think kind of over the last month or two definitely post show so the last two months there's been a lot of time for me to reflect and to think think about future obviously I've spent a lot of time this in this limbo week from Christmas to year I've done a lot of goal setting I've mapped out what I want to achieve in 2023 I've mapped out who I need help from it's great sitting down writing these goals, but I'm like, we can all sit down and write goals for the year, but how do we get there? Like, what is the what what is the map to getting there? And how do we need to kind of backtrack in order to need to achieve that? So I know who I need to contact for help, support. Um, I've broken down those yearly goals into quarterly goals, and I'm excited. I'm fucking excited. So, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, I think... I don't want this podcast or this episode to be incredibly long because anyone that probably watches this probably follows my Instagram, Facebook, and they probably see they've probably seen my journey um, over time. And I apologize if if you're not, if this is the first time you see me, like what the fuck is this guy going on about? I apologize. But yeah, over the last eight weeks, guys, there's been a lot of reflection on getting on stage for me this year was truly the thing of like building back confidence to be like do I the last time I got on stage was a bad experience and I was a bit scared to die at this time I was scared of getting on stage I'm not scared I was nervous I was anxious and so I did everything possible I had a posing coach when I was 
24 to 26 weeks out. So I worked with John uh, when I was even in the off season. I worked with him every week. And then towards the back end, I worked with him twice a week. So I learned how to pose. I learned how to, I learned how to be an athlete again from my kayaking days, which was amazing. And honestly, I'm in. I'm all in. Um, I've, my box was ticked when I did the Dubai show. I got on stage. I held my own. I brought the best look possible. I know I need more muscle. I know I need more muscle. I know that I can pose better. I know that I can do all these sort of things better. But I brought everything. I think my posing was very, very good. Um, I had good feedback from my posing. And then again, vice versa, I had great fee feedback from my condition. They were just like, cool, you've got 10 kilos to fill your weight cap. Get big. And I was like, cool, that, I'm all good with that feedback. Um, and then obviously going to Spain and having Bailey there was amazing. She's honestly, I couldn't ask for a better friend. We had a great time there. And obviously to walk home with a medal was phenomenal from the Alicante show. Um, and that was just the icing on the cake for me, that show, to be able to take my physique, fly across the world, to be able to diet on the plane, do the whole experience of packing all your meals and all this sort of stuff, lugging everything you've got um, across the world to compete was phenomenal. It took me back to kayaking, like, right, flying to the US to do all the, the US tour and things like that was amazing. So the goal is very clear. I'm going to do whatever it takes now until the end of 2024 to build a pro worthy physique and i will be hunting to be a professional athlete again to be in a pro to earning a pro card to an ifbb pro and i know what i need to do to get there i do i need to a lot of it now is it's funny isn't it i've come to the realization that i'm just the biggest introvert i love spending time on my own and i think sometimes we feel like we're forced, we force ourselves to be like, oh, we should be doing this because this will make us happier. And we need to be achieving X, Y, and Z up here because when I achieve that, I'll be happy. The world that we live in is made good, look unhappy and unsuccessful. And then up here, to be, we need to be up here. Instead of being like, I actually am happy and I am very content and I'm grateful and I know I'm progressing here. So why am I trying to aim to be up here all the time when I can just enjoy the ride and just get better every day? Listen to that 1% every day. So yeah, I will be doing that. And again, like it's a little bit of a harsh reality is like, well, it's not harsh, I'm, I'm right with it. The reason I'm staying in for New Year's is because like, I don't really wanna go out. I don't wanna go out um, and spend a lot of money because <laughs> I'm, I'm moving as well. I've been two years in this apartment, guys. My whole life in Dubai, I am moving. Um, so, yeah, I'm moving kind of next weekend. Um, so, I just want to stay in. And I've got to wake up tomorrow. I've got to do cardio. I've got training tomorrow. And tomorrow is the first day of clients checking in with me. So, clients check in on a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So, tomorrow is my first working day. I don't want to stay up till midnight and feel tired. I don't drink anyway. So, I'm just going to stay in. I'm going to, after this episodes recording i'm gonna make my cream of rice um and put a movie on it's that simple and i've learned that that makes me happy that makes me happy and that's what we got to do at the end of the day there's nothing wrong with that and if people don't understand that or if people don't get that that's absolutely fine that's absolutely fine as long as you have that close circle of individuals around you that understand, yeah, that's what he's got to do. That's just Brandon. Uh, we'll catch up with him in the week for a coffee or something. Um, they're the people you want to hang around with. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of um, a lot of me time, a lot of me time. Um, I'm just making sure that I am very content. I'm. I'm calling myself out on a lot of little bullshit on day-to-day -day tasks, making sure I don't, where it's all very normal, right? It's all very normal to procrastinate, but just making sure I don't flick through Instagram or TikTok and shit like that. Just being like, no, call yourself out. Why are you doing this? Get the shit done you need to get done. Come on, Brandon. Like, what you want to achieve, mate, is this ain't going to get you there. And I, I'm giving myself a bit more of a harsh kind of approach to that. I'm not going to be harsh on myself. I know when to pull back and when to push forward and things like that. But just calling myself out on my own bullshit. 
and being like, bro, you said you want to achieve this. Like, this isn't going to get you there. This will. So it's just making sure that I'm calling myself out a little bit more on little things. Um, I can't even express to you how many podcasts and audiobooks I've been listening to over the last four to six months. And it's just continuous self-knowledge. I'm learning more about my relationship with Steph. I'm learning about love languages. I'm learning about, oh, wow, so someone else needs to... They experience love like this, and I. this is how I experience love, and learning actually how to argue with someone, and actually coming out of the argument in a positive manner, be like, I'm sorry that I made you feel like that, or anything along those lines, guys. I'm working a lot on like building relationships, um, just because I find it interesting as well, and obviously, I think when you come off the back of that sort of stuff, you question a lot of things, like you have this demon being like, but if you were just a little bit different, but if you just did this, maybe they would love you a bit more and all this sort of stuff. Um, we can't think like that. Like, um, it's absolutely normal to, but we got to say no to that little demon sometimes. So apologies, I'm rambling a little bit, but you kind of get the gist of how much learning I've experienced this year. And um, this year has been learning. This year has been learning and failing a lot and it's given me so much fucking clarity so much fucking clarity so i'm excited to use these skills in 2023 on my physique on my personal brand on my business as coaching and you're gonna see an a physique that will shock me as well not gonna lie um over this year and we're not even getting on stage till 2024 you're going to see me expand as a, a young man. You're going to see me fucking like take clients through incredible transformations, photo shoots, life changing, draw dropping transformations. And yeah, 2023, baby, 2023. Anyway. I'm going to love you and leave you here because I don't want to ramble too long. I just want to say to my mum, I love you to bits. I miss you. I will see you in February. I want to say to everyone that I've met this year, um, thank you. Thank you for everything. Um, everyone, everyone I've met, um, you've touched my heart in some way. Friends who are with me today. Friends that are around the world, James, Kiana, Sam, Amy, some of those friends that I've met, absolutely phenomenal. Just so many people I could just love and hug right now. And, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, I love you and leave you. Happy New Year. Here's to 2023. And I hope everyone has a good night tonight. And I will see you in the morning. <laughs> Have a good one, guys.